Hi everybody out there, welcome to another edition of my vlog, which is of course inspired today. I hope you're okay, you're fine. Make sure you watch this video twice. Today's video is different. Not once, I've never requested this from you before now. Make sure you watch this video twice and you also encourage your family and loved ones to please watch it. Send this video out to as many couples. This is for couples only and for singles as well for everybody, but this is particularly for couples. I found out that after the first one week of this pandemic in New York, that the divorce rate spiked to 34 or 28%. I was wondering why would divorce rate spike up? They interviewed a man that was, was walking around a particular point in Garden. And during the interview, the guy said, I don't want to go back home. That this pandemic has shown me the animal I live with at home. I was shocked. Why? Because they were told to go on lockdown. Stay at home directive from the government of New York has made couples to see themselves more often than they would usually do. It's a very busy city, busy, busy town. Usually they'll get up very early and go out and get at work and pick up the kids at school, catch a train, do all kind of stuff. So they only will spend maybe an average of seven, eight hours maximum. Some people will say six, six hours, seven hours a day. When they're coming in for dinner and they go straight to bed and they roll out of bed, they get out again. But now they have to spend 14, 18 hours, 24 hours with their loved ones and they begin to see the things they wouldn't want to see, the cracks in their relationships and what have you. We are seeing all those things very, very visibly. So this divorce rates spiked. But I was wondering how could you do a divorce when you're not going to courts, when the courts are not open. But don't forget these things can be done online today. And so because we are all online and activities are very much online, divorce rates spiked. Only a few days ago, I watched a CNN um, survey and some sociologists, clinical um, psychologists also said many relationships have been strained at this point that we are forced to be in prison with ourselves. Paul said in first in Ephesians chapter four, this is what is happening now everywhere. We cannot shy away from the fact that some of us stay with our loved ones and we feel, wait a minute, I didn't know that this is this bad. Because most times we're out, even our sisters, our siblings, our old ones, our elderly ones, our grandmothers, our papas and mamas, they are not living with us. We're beginning to see our cracks and our faults and our flaws. I want to ask in God's holy name, I like Ephesians chapter 4. May I quickly encourage you and inspire you today with this scripture. Don't forget our aim here is on a daily basis to inspire believers, children of God out there, on how to live for God and for Christ. That's my aim and that's my plan. I want to read to you today Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1, 2, 3. He says, I dare for the prisoner of the Lord. Now, I, I know we are all living in different prisons. Sometimes a house can become a prison and it shouldn't be a prison. But I don't want to speak to you today about a prison called home. I will speak about that later. I dare for the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that you work worthy of the vocation where with your call. If you're a Christian, this is how you should work. Please listen to this. A Christian must work worthy of the vocation they are called. Verse 2, with all loneliness and meekness, please be meek, long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. That's what I love the most. I love that. Forbearing one another in love. You see, it's easy to forgive, it's difficult to forbear. Forbearance actually means to live with one another's weaknesses. That's what I mean, to live with one another's inadequacies. The word forbear could mean actually to tolerate. It means to want to tolerate one another. Many of us don't have, our tolerance level is very low, not very strong. I ask you to please tolerate your wife, tolerate your husband, tolerate your kids. I know they keep growing up and that. Can we spend time together? Note it in your heart. Say to yourself, it's tolerance, tolerance season. I will tolerate more people than I've ever done before. People will also tolerate you. Christian character, tolerance, forbearance, it's a virtue of a Christian character. He says, work worthy of the vocation you are called. Please don't harass each other. Don't violate your wife. Don't physically beat her up. 
Women take it easy with your husband. He's never been in this position before. Men, please take it easy with your wife. I know you live in a one room apartment. Maybe you even live in a mansion where you're just running and avoiding each other. Please don't do that. Let's tolerate one another. I pray that you've been inspired today. He said, forbearing one another. Forgiveness is when somebody hurts you. Forbearance is when you live with somebody's inadequacies, somebody's weaknesses. You are there. You can get out. You have to live with it. You know what? He snores too loud. Live with it. He scripts on the phone. Live with it. He makes too much issues with on every little thing. Live with it. He watches only program on channels. Live with it. Grab your phone. Do something else. He's not helping me. Live with it. He's not washing the place in the kitchen. Live with it. Please. Let's forbear one another. That's a Christian calling. It says, Well, with you are called forbearing one another in love. I'll see you again tomorrow on this same inspired today. I hope until then you find a place to forbear your spouse, your loved ones, the held other ones amongst us, and mamas in the mid 70s, forbear with them. Your kids that run around and scatter the house, forbear with them. Live with them. Tolerate everybody around you. Thank you very much. I'm Yannick Kasali once again. I love you all. I'll see you here tomorrow. Inspire today. God bless you. Hi, everybody out there. My name is Yannick Kasali. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those watching by video right now.